Morning, we've come to a little town called Citadella de Ronda today. It's a walled town as you'll see behind me. Um, the, the full town slash city is wall walled. You can go on the walls for, I think it's a five euro fee. And it takes about an hour to walk around the two or three kilometers of the actual fortress, I suppose. A little map there of the town walls, which we're gonna walk around in blue. We just had a little walk through the town of the Citadella now and um, we're just finding our way to the entrance point for this wall walk. I think we've got it in sight now, we just see some staircases. It looks quite busy up there but from what we've seen, um, considering this one really on our to-do list, it was just something we saw on Google Maps a bit further up like as we were driving around. Glad we've come, it's one of the best little, little towns we've seen and little settlements. It's yeah, pretty good, I'm really enjoying it. I do believe it's the three kilometers around and um, we should be able to see some good views of the city and um, the cathedral in the center of the city we finally found it the walls entrance that's what we've been looking for for the last 25 minutes what you all found Leah? just a little well please. just a little well let's have a look well would you look at that just making our way now to the tourist entrance oh there's a little dog here look oh. hello puppy we're finally in the wall area now it's like a little museum there what was that fascinating factoid? The walls are about, I've got a pamphlet. <laughs> the walls are about 2.10 metres thick. Okay. There's four gates, 450 metres away from each other. Oh, there you go. Cardinal points, no less. Cheers. That's the entrance now to the little city walls. We're just going in. Um, we've just been given the information pamphlets and all the details about this thing. But this is like the start of where we're heading up now onto the walls. As Leah just told you, the 2.1 metres thick. Just been reading through the little information package we've got, um, telling you all the information in English. This is actually Europe's most intact medieval parapet wall. You might be able to see just behind me there how far it actually goes around, all the way around this city. You can see it in the distance. So far, it's been very, very impressive. We've only just come out of the actual tourist information area, but this is really spectacular, yeah, really good. Over there in the centre of the town or the city is the actual cathedral which looks really impressive from up here with all like, the terracotta tiles and what a place to live. Leah's just experienced some karma. She's been taking the mick out of me saying my selfie stick's never on my hand and then she tripped, then she tripped over and then she tripped over on the thingy but no running on the walls please. Just bloody taking a picture. Every picture I take for Facebook, does this one be wandering around with his sticking his hand? This is a YouTube channel, not a Facebook channel. Yeah, but I do Facebook. Your face ache. <laughs> taking in some of the information about these walls, I have um just read that they are 30 meters tall in the the big parapet areas you'll see in the turrets and these walls are about 16 meters high two meters thick and um, really impressive how this is still standing It's like Roman style open air theatre there as well in the little town. Quite impressive. You see how they've done it like say like all the Colosseum style. But yeah these this is a really really impressive little town considering we've kind of stumbled across this. Come to a little viewpoint now called the Belvedere viewpoint. I'm um, showing you this is the highest point of the walls I believe. It's like the remains of an old church. The walls following all the way around into the Mount the Alps. Really nice view there of the main chapel, the cathedral. Got some pictures of this which I'll put in just so it's better quality. Just over there, you may see it or may not see it, is the FC Citadella Football Stadium. Now I've been to Europe three times and I've still not managed to get to a European football match. Bayern Munich, 
couldn't do it international fixtures last few times it's been international friendlies i'm determined before we get to bosnia to try and get to a football match now got a week or so left in italy we're going into slovenia and then after that i think that's me on the options because it's the euros and then it'll be the end of the season so it's proving difficult to be honest to try and get to see a game plus i don't think this one really likes football so i think she tries I don't to mind not it if you heard that she said she doesn't mind it if they sell beer, so I can def definitely find a football game, an Italian football game. Yeah, but they're supposed to be like real um, passionate. They do, do stabbings and stuff sometimes, but only they normally in Europe, Europe, European games. We've just been to a co op, haven't we? Um, co op, yeah. Near the little cell parts thing that we're staying, I can't remember the Italian word for it. Sosta. Sosta, yes. And it was 85 pence for like a big bottle of Moretti and Peretti. Um, it's like a pan and a bit in it or something. 85 pence. pence. And I ain't getting stabbed at a football game for a pant when I can have 85 pence there from you the go. local There you go. Meanwhile, I've found something that really interests me. Shall I be a mall? Yeah, let's be a mall. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small face. I just like doing that, don't I, when this option comes. If we can, there's a whole <coughs> to poke your face into your bag, <coughs> don't you? Yes, this was the highest point on this particular wall route. Uh, the next little step we're going down to in this museum area is the um, Archaeological Museum, which is sort of showing us bits and pieces of like old, um, old stoneware called tapestries and information about sort of what's happened over the generations football stadium that close and I still can't get to a game because they don't play until Sunday and we're going to Venice today. I knew Leah, she always mocks me. Do you know when you see these little like things you can stick your face in? Well, she always mocks me for that. Well, I've got evidence that she's done it as well, so I'll put that in for you now. <laughs> Just quickly going back on the subject of football, uh, I won't bore you with it, but we're going to Venice for three nights tonight. Um, it's a Friday, so we thought we've got the full weekend. And I just thought I'd check to see if there's a football team in Venice, and there is, it's Venezia. Um, so I thought, oh, that's good, I'll go watch a game tomorrow or Sunday. Wouldn't you guess it? They're away, as always. Every time I've looked at a stadium, they're either away or it's a bloody international fixture. Just can't catch a break, man. This wire here running along the walls, it's an anti pigeon electrical wire and um, I've been trying to encourage Leah to touch it but she won't do it so she won't touch it do you know when curiosity kind of gets gets in your mind and you kind of want to touch the thing what says not to touch like yeah like don't touch the hot plate when you get a hot plate in a restaurant and you always do it but I am tempted to touch this wire really am I mean, it's only 12 o'clock, but this has been banging about 12, 15 times already. Coming to the end of the wall walk now. It's been, been a good hour walking around, taking in all the sights. One thing I will give it though, is like, it's got this canal or stream all the way around it, which I'm presuming was an old moat, but that's full of fish and it's just nice to see really. Making our way out the exit now couple of little historic sort of creepy characters going down these <laughs> stairs we're stuck in the castle just followed the entry sign exit signs all the way out Leah's come through this one which says entrance well, see it's a bit confusing this one kind of left the left the walls now and then we're heading down here where it says exit and we can't get out because the door's shut. <laughs> so we're just leaving the walls now back to the car park and we're heading off to our next destination Venice for three days we booked a campsite so we're gonna have three days there to explore at our own pace 